what you need to give is if someone give you certain kind of rights they can also limit your rights i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it up in some work and believe hi welcome welcome in this video in this video i will answer some question about copyright copyright in the us in this video we're going to answer the following question how do i copyright a name title slogan or logo thing is this is a question when you look at it you need to ask yourself is it wise to go to the copyright process or is it wise to just go to the trademark process so let's go to drawing board and we're going to talk about this as you can see this is drawing board first thing first we need to make sure that you understand the process how it works in this section we'll talk about copyright in this section we will talk about trademark that's simple so for copyright you always have an a b and c trademark the same a b and c what you need to keep in mind is when you talk about trademark you need to file an application and you need to follow the process after meeting all the requirements then you get the trademark and it's registered in the system copyright if you meet the requirements of copyright you already have a copyright you do not need to register so there's no registration here but there's a registration process here keep that in mind so when you have a copyright you are uh, be in this case a copyright holder and if someone wants to use your copyright they need to ask you permission unless there's a limitation in the law most time when you talk about copyright people have the right to make it public or people have the right to reproduce the thing but trademark it technically works the same but the rights are not the same so technically you have a trademark you have certain kind of rights B is the trademark holder, in this case you, you are a trademark holder. In the law you will find what those rights are, okay? If someone used the rights without your permission, you can go after them. So if I use your right without your permission, you can come after me if you are a trademark holder. That's simple. Just keep in mind, even in the law, you have some limitation when you talk about trademark. What you need to keep in mind is if someone give you certain kind of rights, they can also limit your rights. So try to always keep in mind, there's always something in the law that can limit your rights. You need to look up for it. So in this case, we have name, title, slogan, and logo. So these are the things that we have. Technically, when you look at a logo, when you create a logo, you automatically have um, copyright on it. So it shouldn't be a problem. Most time you do not need to register as a trademark unless it benefits your company. So when you create a logo, you automatically have co copyright on it. Most people do not realize that. But you can also register your logo as a trademark. So logo can go both ways. It doesn't matter. If you do not have enough budget, you can use copyright. If you have a budget, you can use trademark. So logo can go here, but also go there. When you follow the process of trademark, you get the trademark for it and you have certain kind of rights, but there's also certain kind of limitation. Same apply for copyright. When you meet requirement, most time there is requirement. You have copyright on the logo, but just keep in mind there's a limitation. But when you look at the slogan and the title, most time it's not worth it to look at copyright, even the name, because sometimes it doesn't meet the requirement of copyright and you don't have copyright. It depends what it is and how the situation is. So most of the time when you look at this, people will choose to go this way, the trademark way. When you go the trademark way and you follow the process, it can cost money. Yeah. When you follow the process, you get the trademark. If someone uses your name or use your title or slogan without your permission, you can sue them. But when you want to follow the process of registering a trademark, you need to think about it. Is it worth it? Because the registration can be expensive. And sometimes people register it and they're not going to do anything with it. Just keep that in mind. So let's recap. In this video, I explained to you two ways where that you can follow. So you have the trademark way and you also have the copyright way. When you look at the question, it's better to go towards the trademark way unless you are doing logos, creating logos. But if you talk about name, title and slogan, just go to the trademark way. It's not interesting to look at the copyright. There may be some situation where you meet the requirements of copyright, but most time it isn't. So best way to go to the trademark way. If you have question about this topic, just go on Discord and ask me directly. You will find a link in the description. 
If you're new to this channel and you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe. If you want to support us, make sure you press the link in the description and follow the instruction. I will see you in the next video. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me, loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be.